suppose the water all over town was suddenly cut off. It would certainly be mighty uncomfortable for many of us. problem in getting safe water to drink. But except in emergencies, we do have water to drink and to use as we need. All the water for our daily needs comes from a waterworks. Let's go along on a visit to the waterworks and see what goes on. Mr. Burke, the superintendent, likes to have visitors come to his plant. His plant gets its water from a lake, and that's where our visit starts. We're lucky. We have this big lake to supply our water. We run long pipes way out into the lake. What about towns that aren't on a lake? Well, every town must make use of the best water supply available. Some towns dig deep wells. And these very deep wells are called artesian wells. Some towns get their water from rivers. And other towns dam up streams to collect water. This is called a reservoir. Sometimes the reservoirs are many miles from the town. And big pipes called aqueducts carry the water to the town. No matter how a town gets its water supply, the water has to go through the waterworks before it's fit to drink. Is all that water in the building? No, you're standing over a lot of it. Oh. It's in tanks underground. Six million gallons of it. You want to see it? Yeah! yeah. Well, come on, let's go. Many waterworks have their tanks above ground, but this plant has found it more convenient to store the water underground. All right, here we are. Now, let's wait till I open this up for you. There we are. <laughs> there are different kinds of storage tanks here. To learn more about them, let's go inside to the laboratory which is one of the most important parts of the waterworks. Here's a picture chart of what we do here. First, we bring the lake water into the waterworks. And here in the waterworks, we make the water fit to drink. Then, we pump the safe water out into the city. Why can't we drink the water from the lake? Well, lake water is full of germs and dirt that might make you sick. Now, this is water taken right from the lake. And this is water that we've treated. You see the difference? Yeah. Jim, this is Mr. Franklin from our laboratory. He tests the water every few hours to see if there's any germs or impurities. Jim, would you tell him something about your work? Surely. Every day, we take samples of the raw water and the drinking water and add it to these tubes, which contain a broth the germs live on. If there are any germs in the water, this broth becomes cloudy. Here are samples of water I tested yesterday. As you can see, the lake water is very cloudy, but the drinking water is perfectly clear. Thank you, Jim. We keep taking pools of water every two hours to make sure that it's safe. In the waterworks, we do three kinds of things. First, we add different kinds of chemicals and mix them up in the water to kill the germs and help take out the dirt. And second, we let some of the dirt settle down to the bottom. And third, we take out any dirt that's left by running the water through a filter. What's a filter? Well, I'll show you one in a little while. But first, come along with me. And we'll take this picture with us. Let's go see what's happening out in the plant. The first thing the plant does to the raw water as the water is called before it has been treated, is to add chemicals in exactly the right amounts by these automatic machines, which are called chemical feeders. This white powder is alum. It helps settle out dirt and other materials that may be floating in the water. See how the machine sifts the powder into the water. Jeff wants to know if chemicals don't make the water taste funny, but Mr. Burke shows them this machine that puts in activated charcoal a chemical that actually makes the water taste better. Mm -hmm. 
In a room above the chemical feeders, a worker refills the machines with bags of chemicals. He wears a mask to keep from breathing the dust. These chemicals go into so much water that there's only a tiny bit in each gallon. Each feeder has a horn and a red light as a danger signal. This signal means that the feeder needs adjusting. This yellow liquid inside the glass is chlorine, which is carefully fed into the water through this machine. Mr. Burke explains that chlorine kills whatever germs may be in the water. But Lucille doesn't see any water. She wants to know where it is. Mr. Burke explains the building is standing over big water tanks, right under the floor. Big paddle wheels keep turning in some of the tanks, called mixing tanks. They stir the chemicals into the water. After the chemicals have been stirred up in the mixing tanks, the water goes to other tanks called settling tanks. There the alum has a chance to settle out some of the dirt. Then the water goes to the filtering tanks. And that's one of the most interesting sights in the waterworks. Mr. Burke explains that in this plant, the filtering tanks are in a separate building called the filtering plant. Each filtering tank has been built in a special way. If you could see underneath the water, you'd find layers of sand and gravel. The water slowly drips through, and the sand and gravel catch the dirt and other material so that the water comes out past these tile blocks crystal clear. And that's the answer to Bob's question about filters. The filters are kept clean by washing them. Does that sound odd? Well, this is how it's done. First, the tank is opened so that all the water already in it is slowly drained out. Then clean water is forced up through the bottom of the filter. It takes up to the surface the material that's been caught in the filter. This is washed back into the lake where it came from. This is the way the filters are made clean to use again. This cleaning is called a backwash. Can you tell why? The last job that the waterworks does in the plant is to pump the clean, safe water out to the town. Huge electric pumps do this. Workers in the plant have many gauges to let them know just how much water is going out. Big gasoline motors can take over if an electric motor should break down. As the water is pumped out to the town, some of it goes to a high tower for storage. The water goes to the tower and to other places where it is needed through large underground pipes called mains. From these mains, the water goes in small underground pipes to houses and to all the places where water is used. Some of it will be used by the fire department and goes to fire hydrants all through the town. Many businesses have a special need for water and couldn't do their work without it. How does this business use water? And this big street sweeper gets its water from the fire hydrants. But however water is used in this town, it is all clean and safe because it comes from the waterworks. Thanks for showing us around. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Gee, I'm thirsty. Well, let's get some water right from the waterworks. I'm here. Yeah.